Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's an empowerment specialist and best-selling author who's been listed in Ebony Magazine's Power 100 and consulted with some of the top civic, nonprofit, and religious leaders in the world. Wow, she, she joins us now to break down her upcoming <coughs> book, Goodbye Yesterday, Activating the 12 Laws of Boundary-Defying Faith. Please welcome Dr. Cindy Trim. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank, Thank you for coming. Absolutely, we're excited to have you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Dr. Trump, you know, you have been empowering and pouring into women all over the globe, but who pours into you? Uh, mm. uh, that's interesting. Well, I'm an avid book reader, mm -hmm. so I use a lot of books to empower, you know, to be empowered. <laughs> then I pray a lot and meditate. Oh, no, that's mm -hmm. right. So that's my source. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So, mm -hmm. D Dr. Tram, we uh, know we just spoke about Kobe Bryant and yeah. lost uh, Kobe Bryant and also his daughter. Um, your new book, uh, Goodbye Yesterday, mm -hmm. talks about coping with grief and, and, and loss. Mm -hmm. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, you know, this is very interesting because I think this gives all of us an opportunity to find closure. Um, there's something that death does. It, it opens up old, old wounds, mm -hmm. but it introduces us to ourselves, and then it has the power to bring people together. And this is what's happening all over the world. Mm -hmm. We're coming together, and it, we're coming together because of pain. It's the pain of loss. And loss is not just about losing a person. You lose things, you lose time, mm -hmm. you lose jobs, Ugh. you lose marriages. Mm -hmm. So at some given point in all of our lives, we have to deal with the whole Thank issue you. of grieving mm -hmm. and then bringing closure and moving forward. Yeah. The hard thing is to sit long enough with your pain and then to find your truth inside of that pain because what pain does is it, it should bring something better out of us and it's not meant to bring bitterness at all. And this is why learning what a crisis is all about, grieving is all about, and there's something about the human spirit mm -hmm. that where we should be able to not only celebrate but to honor how God created us, and he created us strong. We all want to live, and I think the final act for all human beings is death. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the closure, bringing closure. And at everybody's burial, you know, we, we have benedictions. But it's not there just to celebrate, but it's there to really honor. Mm -hmm. Not only honor the life of a person that leaves us, but honor our own lives. And we have an opportunity mm. to honor them by moving on and living on. Yeah. And you live first with a hole in your soul the size yeah. of that person. Yeah. yeah, we all feel that. You, you, you struggle through it you survive it, then you live with it. And mm. it's a hole that never goes away. Now, Dr. Chen, speaking of struggle, you mm. know, I did not know Kobe or his family personally. Mm -hmm. I'm a big basketball fan, you know, my husband played against him. You know, I'm, I'm really into basketball, so this really hurt me a different way. Mm. But what I've been struggling with is, even though I'm not attached to them physically and like in their family, I still feel very guilty moving on yeah like I feel mm -hmm. insensitive behind the entire tragedy what are you talk about opportunities in crisis mm -hmm. what are some of the the things that we can do to find opportunity to be positive and move on even though we are feeling yeah insensitive yeah mm -hmm. we all have different coping skills my coping skill is to intellectualize so to move away from the pain but the best thing that you could do is to firstly embrace the pain, pain mm -hmm. to be able to say this really sucks and we're all winging it through life to tell you the truth and so in our weakest moments this is where community this is where family friends because this is where you lean on someone else's prayer someone else's faith mm -hmm. someone else's courage someone else's strength and then if you are in a community where everyone is mourning at the same time. That's on the natural plane. That's when you you reach out spiritually because mm -hmm. you need something that's supernatural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you lean on prayer, and this is where faith jumps in. Yeah, you know, um, you know, grief is is it's individualized. Yeah, and um, how do people or how do we not even just with Kobe Bryant and all the lives that were lost, but when we when we encounter a yeah. loss like this. How do you cast away sadness and try to navigate, or does it, is it just how you deal with it personally? It's, it's emotions, right? Right. So you're dealing with emotions, and life is like this mosaic. It's like a puzzle. It is. 
and each piece means something and sometimes hindsight is 2020 and you don't always see the importance of an experience until after the fact mm. Mm. so you know while you're going through the emotions to be able to say this is normal and, and not try to move away from it too fast right but you discover your own strength in some of your greatest pain yeah. some of the greatest moment of rejection greatest moment of loss you discover who you are so yeah. do you think that people are not identifying with their pain essentially they're just kind of trying to sweep it under the rug before they really figure out what is causing it what is it mean and, and really feeling it allowing yeah. themselves to feel pain I think I think a lot of us have been through a lot of different types of pain like there's abandonment and then there's loss and then there's disappointment mm -hmm. and when you add that up everyone everybody has a breaking point mm -hmm. yeah. and sometimes yeah. this is how you cope and there's nothing wrong with reaching out reaching out for professional help yes reaching out for uh, go to your pastor your priest you know find someone and, and, and oftentimes what you need is the gift of presence. Mm. But not only the gift of presence, you also need the gift of goodbye. Yes. And that's a gift that you can mm. give yourself. Mm. Right. Well, thank you so much for helping us thank you. Um, navigate through this. And we appreciate your time today. Appreciate uh, it. If you would like to get her new book, please make sure you do that. It's called Goodbye Yesterday, Activating the 12 Laws of Boundary Defying Faith. And it comes out February 4th, wherever fine books are sold. Thank you so much, Dr. Trim, thank for being for with us today. Thank you for having me.